Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, Grand Rising. Good morning. Great morning. Top of the day. Hey, top of the evening. If you just uh, listen to this, top of the night. You know what I'm saying? Just um, it's just speaking life over you, your situation. You know, hoping that you have a better attitude. Uh, that your temper ain't as quick. That you think before you react. That you understand that just because something comes to your heart, mind, or thoughts that that still gives you the option of to keep it in or to release it. It saves you from apologizing about things. It saves you from losing different friendship. Uh, I just say I let to say we have to come to a point in our life where we understand certain things. It don't matter if these people give us 600, 1200, 2400. What are we doing with this money? What do we do with all that unemployment compensation? Uh, all of that um, stimulus money, all the relief, what are we doing with it? Are we continuing to make the same true that black people money is like liquid gold? It just goes through our hand. There's some people right now that are investing in Bitcoin or investing in stocks and markets and are, are just learning how to save in general. And they they wanted to saw a difference in their life whether it was a pandemic or epidemic or not because they've learned how to invest and be smart with managing their money it's I, I don't know what it is about us but it's something about wasting our money and being broke or somebody spending our money real fast on stuff that is just only for name brands like like bro we really waste money like we really come into a glorification of wasting money wasting time uh, wasting effort we're just not good stewards we like to crack jokes so much, but a lot of us ain't even comedians. We like to be fooler and play a lot of games, but but but, but ain't that funny. Most of the people I know that are playing games, your life is nowhere near together. It ain't even, it ain't even in no type of ball that's rolling, that's showing is coming together. Some people like they can't even see their life falling apart. And I realized a lot of people are comfortable rock bottom because that's where they're that's where they best place at. Cause now they know I ain't got no money, I just gotta get some more money. I ain't got nothing, somebody gonna help me. It's like, when do we come to an understanding that, bro, it don't matter if these people give us money or not. We need better money management skills. We need to learn how to money uh, manage money better, even if I, I had $100. Can I stretch that hundred? done? Can I make that money stretch? Or am I gonna be on the same old mindset? Oh, you know, you break a hundred, it's gone already. It's gone because in your mindset, you had already spent it mentally. So it showed up in your natural. Come on, let's be real. You got certain people in your life or dated or job because in your mental, you had already birthed that thing. And it eventually showed up in the natural. So we gotta ask ourselves a question. Whether we with other black banks, whether we support black business, when we gonna start learning how to support the almighty dollar by not always giving it away, spending it. Sometimes we already spent our check already. With that kind of cost, is this something I should spend on just because the thought come to my head? I like Jordans, but it's been times I couldn't get them J's because I needed that $100 and something. So I couldn't get those Jordans at the moment. We can sit down all day and talk about assets and liabilities and talk about necessities. A lot of people, bro, they know how to make money, but they like Pharisees and Sadducees. They like to keep it to themselves. That's why you always gonna be hurt in life because you've learned how to hoard your blessings for you. Cause somewhere in your life, that's a whole nother story. Somewhere you've been manipulated or hurt and now you almost got a mindset, I ain't gonna do nothing for nobody else but myself. That's why you gonna stay hurt. You gotta keep sowing and being generous to others in order for God and life to continue being generous to you. And somebody else might be like, man, when I ain't got no money, don't want nobody to help me. I understand that as well. But that's why you got to keep sowing, giving to six, to seven, to eight. For you know not where your blessing to come from. You don't never know where your return going to come in at. Hey, that's why I said, cast your bread upon the wall. After many days, you shall find. I think that's Ecclesiastes. But when are we going to learn how to manage money better? Some people say some people tight. They stingy. They knitty. Or is it just that they finally come to an understanding? That I got to stretch this money. I got to stretch this tissue. I got to stretch this gas. I got to stretch this food. I got to stretch these food stamps. 
I just wanted to hit you with a little money, ma- money saving or money making, somewhat educational, informal understanding of, of, of saving money, putting back. Having some for a rainy day, for a rainy day coming, and sometimes every day seems like it's a rainy day, all depending on what you're dealing with. So as a people, we have to learn how to be better in money management, even if you is supporting black businesses. We gotta come to a point where we get real and accept each other and teach each other on the basis of things that are actually real, real, real. And we can't just keep on playing these little childish games. We can seem to fall into the same boats and the same situations. Cause we keep on playing some of the same similar games year after year with just different people. And we wonder why we're not moving forward in the things of God or, or really in the things of life. You gotta look at the seeds you sowing. You can only reap the harvest based on the seeds that you sow. For real. But I'm gonna be back with some informal. Thank you for your time.